I get asked this question a lot. When is the best time to buy a home? And the truth is that the best time to buy a home was five years ago, meaning that we will continuously see peaks and valleys in our market, but we will over the longevity of the market see a continued growth and appreciation in real estate. So the newest question is, how will the presidential election affect the real estate market and is now a good time to buy? So let's dive in. I think there's three key points that we need to do a bit of digging and research on so that we can analyze previous presidential election years and see how they actually affected the real estate market with regards to number of home sales, prices of homes, do they increase or do they decrease, and our interest rates. What are our interest rates doing and what will they do in the years preceding the presidential election? I'm Shamika Fox, your Santa Cruz real estate expert, and I'm so excited to do a deep dive into this subject because it's a really big question and it comes up so frequently is when is the best time to buy and how will this presidential election and presidential election years in the future affect our real estate market. Historically speaking, presidential election years are actually good for buyers. Whenever there's any volatility in the market, which means some sort of change or uncertainty, our buyer's confidence level goes down, which means that there's fewer buyers in the market. And when there's fewer buyers in the market, that also means that there is a chance to get a better deal on a property. So historically speaking, actually, election years are a great time to buy homes. The California Association of Realtors has done research over the decades and analyzed election years and how they impact our housing market. And they have said that during the election years, so like 2024, 2020, 2016, the year in which we're gonna have a new presidential election, those years we see actually a bit of volatility in the housing market. On average, over the decades of this analysis, the California Association of Realtors has seen that home prices have rose 6% annually the year prior to a presidential election. Home prices rose approximately and on average 4.5% the year of a presidential election and home prices rose 5.3% the year after the election. So once the new president has been selected and takes office that following year, so 2025 would be for the current analysis of our current presidential election, we have seen an average of 5.3% increase in our overall housing market. And this is nationwide. So let's look at home sales. So that's the number of homes that have sold during election years from the past. Tracking back to 1978, we have seen only two years out of 11 of presidential election years that we have seen a decline in housing sales the year after the presidential election. So in 1978, we saw fewer home sales after the presidential election. And in 1988, we saw fewer home sales after the presidential election. Besides those two years, every year after a presidential election, we see an uptick or an increase in home sales. So 2025, I'm actually expecting, my prediction is that we will see an increase in home sales. I feel that consumer confidence is actually becoming pretty stable. We keep waiting to get a better grasp on inflation, but because we are not getting a great grasp on inflation that actually means that our economy is very healthy and secure so when we have a healthy and secure economy then our inflation rates tend to be higher the GDP is healthier and overall our housing market mortgage rates are higher but also consumer confidence is higher because we have better job security we have more equity in homes and we have just an overall stability in our overall economy these statistics have been provided by the National Association of Realtors as well as HUD. Now let's take a deeper dive and a look at what home prices do and have done historically speaking over the past decades with relation to a presidential election year. Generally speaking, we have seen a consistent trend that after an election, home prices continue to rise. 
the trend with regards to home prices has also increased during a presidential election year and after. There has been one year since 1992 that we have seen a decrease in prices after a presidential election, and that was during the Great Recession and housing bubble burst of 2008 and 2009. When President Obama was elected in 2008, we were starting to see the crumble of not only the housing market, but the economy in general. And then in 2009, we saw housing prices in some areas take a haircut of more than 50%. But since 1999, besides the 2008-2009 Great Recession, housing prices have steadily continued to climb. Now again, there's always peaks and valleys when you analyze the real estate market, but they have steadily climbed up, up, up over the course of the years. This data has been provided to us by the National Association of Realtors. Now let's look at the third piece of the puzzle, and that's mortgage rates with regards to a presidential election year and how these mortgage rates affect our market after the presidential election. And do we usually see a decline in mortgage rates or do we see an increase in mortgage rates? According to Freddie Mac and dating all the way back to 1980, we have seen eight election years where mortgage rates after the election have decreased. During an election year with the volatility and the uncertainty, things tend to slow slightly. And then the year after the election year, we start seeing upwards trends in the number of homes that are selling in the price points of these homes that are selling and also in the lowering of mortgage rates. So here's what to expect now that we've come out of the presidential election. We now have Donald Trump as our new president-elect that will be taking office in January 2025. So what to expect? I would actually expect to see all of the traditional trends happen during the year 2025 through 2029 with interest rates coming down. I don't know that 2025 will bring us into the 5% market uh, for mortgage rates. The experts were saying that we were hoping to see that in 2024, but we just haven't gotten a good enough grasp on our economy as a whole and on inflation as a whole. So I would expect to see in 2025 that mortgage rates will come down. I'm estimating in the low to mid 6% percent range and maybe 2026 2027 we will start to see them trend even lower um, hopefully getting below that low six to the five percent range because i think a five percent mortgage market range is a healthy market for buyers to feel confident in what product they're getting as far as what they can afford to purchase in our santa cruz market but also nationwide in October, we actually started to see a downward trend in mortgage rates, which was a welcomed relief because we had been seeing them in the high sixes to low seven range. And then we started to see them in October come down to mid to low sixes, which was very welcome to home buyers, sellers, and the real estate market as a whole. Once Donald Trump was elected in November, we actually started to see an uptick or an increase in mortgage rates. And that was because the Fed's interpretation of the tariffs that he, that Trump intends to implement into our market had a negative impact on the 30-year mortgage rates. The Feds will meet again in December. We should have a better understanding of what their anticipation or expectation is after this meeting. Prior to the meeting right now, actually being quite silent about what their anticipation is with regards to the meeting. The good news is when mortgage rates are high, that means that the rest of the economy is doing really well. It's only when we have a handle on inflation and or we are expecting a recession, our job market and GDP are not strong enough to support the Fed's bringing the mortgage rates down. As for my 2024 market predictions, it was pretty much in line. I did not expect to see actually any reduction in mortgage rates, even though there was talk about the Fed's reducing mortgage rates four to five times this year. We saw a slight decrease once or twice, but they really remained steady at that high six, low 7% rate for the entirety of 2024. I do expect to see mortgage rates trending down. I do expect to see home sales volume increasing, and I also do expect to see home price increases as we head into 2025. 
I hope this overview of how history has been and may repeat itself during a presidential election year and those years after has been enlightening and helpful for you to analyze our market as a whole with regards to your buying and selling needs. If you have any questions pertaining to your specific real estate needs right here in Santa Cruz, please feel free to reach out. I'm Shamika Fox, your Santa Cruz real estate expert, and as always, I'm here to help.